Hi guys! So the base of today's cards are gonna be this stamp. Uh, it's from the Teddy Bow and Co. And I got this stamp set free with Cards and uh, Papercraft issue 98. And we're gonna stamp this in a Momento Tuxedo Black. And then we are gonna color it uh, with my Spectrum Noirs. And first you just get the stamp all inked up. Up and then just we're gonna cut him out afterwards so the placing of him oh, pretty well pretty well uh, this is the little dude we're gonna I'm gonna cut this picture out first because it's easier just I have stamped him onto Nina Solar white cardstock um, because it's actually a very good paper to work with your Spectrum Noirs on. And we're going to start and colouring the teddy. And we're using, the colour we're using today is TN2, TN3 and TN4. Doing a little bit, bit at a time. I'm going to start by colouring in with the lightest colour. This is to give some moisture through the paper. It's easier to blend. Then I'm going in with the darkest color and just doing the shadows. And then I'm going in with the next darkest color, blending this out. And at last I do the TN2 for the blending part. Now we're going to go for his little underside of the foot. I want it to be a little bit lighter this time, so I'm going to use um, TN1 and TN2. Start with TN1 and just base foot. And because of this is inside of his foot, sort of, um, I do the shadowing so it looks like the outer side of the foot is creating it. Now let's go back over with TN1 again and that was the inside of the foot. For the pullover and his hat we're gonna use JG1, JG5 and JG7. And again we start with the lightest color which in this case actually isn't that light and we're just gonna fill in all of his hat. And then we take the darkest color and we just work where we want our shadows to be. So we're going to start here. It's gonna go have a little shadow on top of that. It's gonna be some shadows in his hat like this. 
and then on the bottom of his hat. And then we use the file to just blend that out. And we finish off with the brightest color. So I cut out the bear and now we're going to put the card together. We start with a card base. This is a 6 by 12 inch piece of cardstock and I have scored it at 4 and at 8. And then I have cut out um, 2 and a half inch from the bottom all the way into the score line and up the score line so you can fold it together like this. So. Uh, we're going to start with the inside um, because we have to glue it together. You could use red tape, but my red tape hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to use glue and I'm going to use uh, diamond glaze just because uh, it's very good quality glue. I just put little, little on. I think I even put too much on because it's kind of a wet glue. And then just close it together so you, this will give you yeah too, too much on and this is why you always have wet wipes on your table <laughs> um, do it like this just let it dry that now you have a little pocket where you can put something in um, the rest of the inside is just a piece of paper that is three by three quarters and two by a quarter. And on top of that, I'm putting this little strip, which is three and a half times three quarters. So I'm choosing to put the sentiment inside the card, and all the papers. Um, have been edged with brushed corduroy. Corduroy. Can't speak today. And you just. And that's the inside. So we can put that away to dry, and then I continue on with the outside. And it's it's quite easy. I'm going to use the same paper on the outside, and this is. Five and three quarters times four and three and three quarters, and then I have this little bit which is two and a half times three and a half, and we're going to put that in the corner. But before we do that, we're going to put a little bit of a ribbon on top. So I had this beautiful ribbon, it came with a package from Angie, and I'm going to use that on the top because it matches in with the rest of the colors I've chosen. And we just put some adhesive on the back side. And place the knot. I pre knotted it so I made a loop, knotted it, and cut the loop apart so I could place it on the back side. Like that. And then we're going to put the other part on. Um, when you put the glue on top of your piece that you have put, I put this through th through my um, Big Shot together with a folder from Deris and just don't try to push too much on it. 
we're gonna have that in the corner and then we're gonna have the little bear and he's gonna be on foam adhesive so he would pop up a little bit sometimes they don't want to work with you just putting a few of these And then just put adhesive on the back side to put it together. And there's our card today with a little pocket. I have actually uh, just the one again, uh, but I thought I'd show you. As the glue on this hasn't dried yet, I don't want to put anything into the pocket that I show you on this that it actually has dried. But you can put uh, like a gift card or something in, it fits perfectly. And you can give it like this. Hope you liked my video today and uh, you can win this card. If you want to win it, uh, comment down below and be a subscriber to my channel or comment on my blog and be a follower there and I will draw a winner the 20th of October and now for the winner of the oh really card uh, I had 19 entries I have made 19 stars and now we're gonna pick one Take this and we open it up ah, like that and we open it up and the winner is let's see Eleni Bo. Um, I tried to contact you in, in some way. I have had problems trying to uh, contact people through the inbox when you have two separate names. But I'm going to find out a way to contact you. And I'll send this out to you in the mail. Bye!